At first glance it may seem that any restrictions and prohibitions in and no. At least for those whose life takes place in a plane far from politics and the local army. It is forbidden to use Ukrainian communications system Vodafone all sensitive sites, such as state, banks, ministries, tax, and numerous, commandant, which is indicated immediately on the front door from the outside and is covered in a few meters indoors. In some structures this is the ad, rather a tribute to the local order and full of profanity, and in some places over its performance monitoring security, the SIM card of Ukrainian mobile operators should be removed at the entrance to the facility. A few years ago, all the soldiers and government officials forcibly switched to the local channel of communication, Logicam, which seems to be not listening in contrast to all Ukrainian operators. However, in all advertisements give two phone numbers, the Ukrainian operator and local, to have a connection with all the telephone users in the country. Even in 2015, it is prohibited more than a hundred sites Ukrainian news portals. But if you really need some information, you can always circumvent that order, setting out the special program through which the connection with the prohibited sites is installed in, say, Bangladesh, which makes it impossible to track you. In addition, a ban on communication with representatives of the Aussie mission. This is a strange ban, which hardly anyone will tell you in voice, but not a single formal structure would give anyone of the Aussie any information without consulting with management. The answer is always almost the same, ask the leadership of the official letter. When the man returns from the territory controlled by Ukraine, the Republic, and seeks to find a formal job with a degree, She's often asked why a period from 2014 to 2019 she lived in Ukraine. The answer depends on many things. It's also why and where people went in the summer of 2014, where he worked during your stay in Ukraine and what were the motives for the return. If the applicant is looking for a job in told structures, it will check the Ministry of Public Security. No explanation of refusal they do not. No chance to review the issue does not exist. You can criticize the government where. But we must remember that excessive activity may have consequences. Why political predictions, comments in social networks, store of Ukrainian literature and the like can lead to arrest on charges of subversive activities. I know many who works quite officially in Ukraine, getting paid through the Ukrainian banks or technicians and engineers who continue to work on the branches of Ukrainian enterprises in the country. But none of these people won't admit it in conversation. All the work and wages, and contributions to the local, tax, quite official, but I will tell you this in a whisper after a long deliberation. Everyone understands that any cooperation with Ukraine, you can always serve as a diversionary activity, and travel salaries and pensions meetings with the curators of the Ukrainian power structures. War is unlikely he will go to Ukraine, but the teacher of local universities making it regularly and secretly. And then everything depends on leadership. Someone will turn a blind eye and someone will find a reason to fire because all state employees in 2017, signing the order on the prohibition of leaving the territory controlled by Ukraine. All other dismissals trained colleagues at the photos in embroidery during their vacations which inadvertently uploaded to the social network, or for the release after the trainings, which were held in Ukraine. In general, the majority of users of social networks is very carefully two friends on both sides of the conflict. Often friends under fictitious names and foreign accounts to avoid harassment.